According to Vision 2040 and the NDP3 goals, creating museums may help disseminate knowledge about our culture's historical items and use tourism to support sustainable livelihood. Promoting the sustainable use of our heritage product would help preserve and promote Uganda's distinctive cultural character, create jobs and support equitable economic growth. With our Vision 2040 and National Development Program 3 objectives on the conservation of natural and cultural heritage, the Ministry of Tourism the Minister of Tourism, for us, the Minister of Tourism, our theme is museums, our heritage. That is the theme in the case of Uganda. Museums, our heritage. The international, uh, the international theme is museums, sustainability, and well-being. Our theme is museums, our heritage. I think we agreed on that. What, what, this theme focuses on dissemination of information on how our people can leverage on heritage products for sustainable livelihoods. The subsector of cultural heritage has contributed significantly to the restructuring of the tourism industry by bringing about 1,333 US dollars in a yearly income from both domestic and international travelers. The revenue generated by cultural heritage tourism is a result of the sector's capacity to attract a variety of visitors, including history enthusiasts, cultural enthusiasts, and nature lovers. We see that cultural heritage subsector brings more than US dollars, 1,333, if I'm picking the right figure very well, to compared to 1,009 1 of meetings and uh, of nature, then meetings and mice, are uh, all mice meetings and incentives. So we have been looking at promoting cultural heritage because worldwide or globally, cultural heritage brings a lot to, to different economies. Government added the museum to the curriculum as part of a strategy aimed at promoting both the development of Uganda's cultural heritage and elevating the country as a top traveler destination in the region. I think people should embrace their heritage. There is a lot of history here. There is a lot to learn in the museum. And uh, I think the government has inculcated the museum into the, the curriculum of Uganda. That's why even actually we get more school children here. But I think the parents also need to know because actually the most domestic visitors we get here, they are parents who are coming with their children. They are asking them about the museum because they have studied at the school and they don't know about it. So they find themselves in here, but they don't know what is in the museum. But so I encourage each Ugandan out there to come and visit the museum because there is a lot to learn, to learn about our history, how people used to live, and the current history. Ministry is also in collaboration with the World Bank, CEDEP, and other development partners to generate funds for the renovation and reconstruction of existing museums and monuments in order to increase their appeal and give visitors an immersive cultural experience. Currently, the government has allocated 45 billion to help with this cause. From the government total for our projects for museums and monuments, uh, we we, are, we expect to inject about 45 billion because that's what the feasibility told us. So it can be more or it can be less than that. But for the National Museum, World Bank uh, awarded us 9 million US dollars. And so we have been. That's where we bought the truck. As Uganda joins the rest of the world in celebrating International Museum Day on 18th May, heritage actors, partners from the public and private sectors, and the museum community in this subregion will have to optimize and rethink the cultural heritage resources. Mata Nimsima, Smart 2040 TV, Business Today.